What up, everyone? Today we're going to take a look at Pinckney's Treaty, which, if you want to kind of think about it, it's the We Love Spain Treaty because an important point to keep in mind, this treaty was a major diplomatic success for the United States. And keep in mind, this is a time when the United States is not having much success in international affairs. We have the French Revolution drama taking place, causing all sorts of problems with neutrality. We have Jay's Treaty, which, for those of you in the cheap seats, kind of just real the basics. Jay's Treaty with England was a very unpopular treaty, and Pinckney's Treaty in 1795 with Spain is going to be a very popular treaty. So let's take a look at what this thing's all about. Remember, we've been having some problems with España. You know, even during the Articles of Confederation, when we had a weak national government, Spain and England and other international powers were bullying the young nation. And Spain did so by cutting off access and use of the Mississippi River and would not allow the United States to deposit crops in New Orleans. And this is a huge problem because um, the Mississippi River is basically the highway for trade and especially for farmers out west. There also was a problem with disputes over the boundaries between the U.S. and Florida. The Treaty of Paris, really, there was a disagreement between Spain and the U.S. about what the proper boundaries were between the U.S. and Florida. So you have all these kind of problems that had been lingering throughout the 1780s into the 790s. Now, when we negotiate the treaty with England in 1794, Spain gets a little worried because we're talking to their arch nemesis, one of their rivals in Europe. And Spain doesn't really want to see the U.S. and England become cozy, so they become much more willing to negotiate. And so Thomas Pinckney helps negotiate this treaty, and here's what it does. It's real simple. And basically it says the United States has the right to use the Mississippi River. We have the right to deposit goods in the port of New Orleans without having to pay any duty. <laughs> duty. And the boundary between the U.S. and Spanish Florida was going to be settled at the 31st parallel. So the boundary is going to go right here, 31st parallel, which Spain previously was kind of claiming much more territory. So this treaty solves a whole bunch of problems. It's a huge diplomatic success, and it's one of the real kind of victories for foreign policy under George Washington, and we're feeling really awesome. That's all we got for today for Pickney's Treaty. If you like the video, subscribe to Joe's Productions, click like, tell a friend to check out the channel, and clean your damn belly button. It's dirty. Peace out.